everybody. Thank you for coming to the video. Today we are reacting to Chung Ha, uh, Gotta Go. And I'm with my husband, Matt. Hi. And also with my dog, Lucy. And um, we're going to watch Gotta Go music video, then watch the explanation of it by DKDK TV. And if you want to skip to just our reacting to that, uh, go to this timestamp here. And otherwise, we'll go ahead and start watching the video in one, two, three. Nice house. <laughs> yeah, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh. She's like a sneaky ninja. <laughs> Maybe that's not her house. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there was? Oh, yeah. She's having dinner with the doll. Okay. Oh. Rub in the face. Oh. You need to have a revolving door in your closet. black and white there. I like it. Kind of reminds me of like, like, just like very calming music, you know? <laughs> or a closet. It, oh, that's her revolving closet. Is it Cheryl, is it Cheryl she said she's going into? revolving too. to one of her songs before so I really liked it I I'm interested in seeing what her other songs are like kind of is reminiscence of like Jan Jackson to me that sort uh, what do you think of it that's really good it did sound like something I've heard before but I can't quite figure out what was good yeah <laughs> and so now we're gonna watch the explained we're gonna watch that in one two three she was a young single it's about a freaking curfew 
uh, as far as I know, and it's an absolute bub, so let's check it out. Right off the bat, Chana expresses her attraction towards another man. She says how she likes 말을 놓는 것도. Now I translated this to speaking easy because I couldn't find a better way to translate it without hurting the flow of the song. But if you translate this phrase directly, it means uh, dropping the honorifics. As you may know, in the Korean language, there are these things called honorifics. It's basically a different form of uh, the Korean language, very slightly altered. And you use this form of Korean language when you are speaking to elders or when you're speaking to people that you're not close to. Strangers, old business partners, people that are not in your personal level of relationship. Usually the point when you drop the honor of fix is when you decide to take a relationship to a more personal level. So for example, if you're like a business partner or if you're just like a formal, met in a formal setting and you decide to become closer friends uh, or perhaps... Uh, she's your love interest and you decide to make this romantic, you ask them, can we drop the honorifics? So here in Chang'a's song, in this particular situation, her saying that um, he, she likes how he dropped the honorifics means that she and him are getting on a personal level. Of, I heard uh, that in a key drama before. Other, uh, perhaps a romantic level of interest. And she is enjoying that situation. <laughs> Because the color of the skies have turned from blue to black. It's obviously turned into night. During this time, the two have developed very deep feelings for each other, as Chang'a expresses as weird feelings between the two. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's her curfew. <laughs> like Cinderella. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a good thing to not with. 
And B, uh, she doesn't want the guy to lose interest in her because he slept with her. I've actually seen guys and girls wait an entire year after their girlfriends and boyfriends uh, to have their first sex. It's it's insane, I know. <laughs> He's really bitter about that. Uh, yeah, but, uh, I don't think that's happening to him. <laughs> but maybe he has. <laughs> We say we're holding on, we're latching on to the last string of sanity and reason. This means that we're holding on to our last ability. We're barely managing, but we're still holding on to that last uh, thought of reason and sanity and not caving in to our desires and our inner urges. So here, when Chang Ai uses this phrase, it basically means that she's She's really, really wants to stay with the guy, but her inner mind, she's holding on to that last latch and saying, okay, I gotta go home. But she also admits that she might just let go and just cave into her desires, let her desires take care, take control over her body and her mind if she stays any longer. Uh, like a genie in a bottle, right? Yeah. <laughs> The lyrics in this song are really, really great because these are things that every single Korean guy and Korean girl has probably heard in their dating life inside South Korea. I've heard that many, many times. Like, oh, I have a curfew. It's like at 12, it's at 11, it's at 10 p.m. Uh, to be honest, like, that could also be just a lie and they just want to go home and don't want to be with me. Anyway, while explaining this, I just came to realize how little freedom sometimes women are given in the Korean society well into their adulthood. Like a freaking curfew. Like, Chonga is 24 years old in Korean age. She's a full grown ass adult and she could be graduating college. She could be a college graduate at this age. And She's singing about a freaking curfew, and it's relatable not only to her but to people of my age. Like preach, boy. Her not being able <laughs> to stay with her boyfriend or her love interest because she has a freaking curfew. I just gotta say, like, I really respect and I really feel bad for the women that are in Korea that have these controlling parents that think their daughter is, you know, gonna do drugs if they stay out too late. If she was gonna do drugs, she's gonna do it anyway and during the day. It doesn't make a freaking difference. Like, not all drugs happen after 12. And I just gotta say, thank freaking God I have a penis. Whoa! <laughs> I did not know that was gonna go there. <laughs> he, he's okay. right though, yeah. I kept watching the screen behind him. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, was, like, oh. it was other songs. Yeah. Stuff. That was weird to watch. <laughs> yeah. But he, I think he explained it really well. And yeah, I think it's right. I think it's about uh, desire, and but she can't give in. Um, she could be falling back on her curfew or she could be like actually have a curfew you know she could be lying about it or not but i think that's what it's about and i i think the song is good and i hope it goes far for her and i i'm sure that she's already doing pretty well you know i don't know oh yeah yeah so. what do you think about the explanation that was very interesting it's always interesting when you don't understand the language to finally understand the song okay so, yeah. cool. well thank you for watching the video and like and subscribe and have a great day bye